here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you one of my redstone uh, traps that can be used on uh, livestock in order to uh, harvest uh, large quantities of meat. So in this video here, we're going to be essentially using a, a sand trap to uh, suffocate the animals inside. So usually what you do is just attract them with uh, the uh, carrots here for uh, pigs. And then what we're going to do is push these blocks out to the side. We're going to have to create enough space here. Now we're going to put uh, the torches at the side of the blocks. And place the sand on top of it. So the concept is that once you push these blocks out here, it will dislodge the sand above it and have it fall to the ground. So I'm going to create uh, three layers here. Those are the pistons, and that is a lever. So let's uh, end these piggies. I forgot the side here. Alright, now it's ready. That is how you uh, establish the sand trap here, and then to uh, re-establish this, turn this guy off, dislodge the uh, dirt here, pick up all the sand, and then uh, that's how you do it. I've reset the trap here, and just look at all of the uh, meat we got just from that one trap. It must have been easily uh, 200 or less pigs that were stuck in that uh, trap. Now, when it comes to that uh, sand trap, some people like to dig like all the way down so that the fall damage would kill the animal. But I tend not to favor that since different uh, animals uh, like pigs or cows would have more health than something small like uh, a chicken. So you would have to dig uh, pretty deep for some of those animals. Let me show you another uh, redstone contraption I have here. Now this one is uh, used to spit out uh, eggs. Uh, it used to be against that wall, but with the water here, you're going to spit them out um, all the way out here. So you just put it, create a dropper on top of that. And I'm gonna get rid of my inventory here. So with this uh, redstone circuit here, um, you just create a redstone uh, lamp or torch over here and then you break it off quickly in order to create this uh, cir repeating uh, circuitry. So let me put this, these eggs here in the hopper as well as in the dispenser. Now I tend to have the uh, hopper here just to create more uh, space, but you can just use the dispenser. Uh, As some of you may know, uh, you get a baby chicken uh, once in a while. You uh, throw all these things against a wall, but I prefer to have it uh, automatic because it can be very uh, strenuous. 
watching Rattle out of all those eggs. So with the water here, it will push out the uh, baby chickens into this little area so that they don't get uh, hit by too many eggs. Okay. That's pretty much it. Uh, we do have another sand trap over here. In order to uh, collect our meat. Okay, so let's uh, track some chickens here. Try not to fall into the trap. Okay, and now I have to edit this video here so that we can uh, make this shorter. Put down the traps here. Okay. As with the other sand trap, these uh, sand blocks will move out here. Then I'm going to put the sand on top. Okay, so once again, the um, hole below us is uh, three deep, so I'm going to put down, actually it's four deep, but the, the sand we're going to put down is three deep. Let's do it. Okay, that should be the video. Thanks for watching.